Hello, Brian McCarthy here from Bold and Break. I'm delighted to be back with the part two in our tutorial series, which is covering splines, the volume measure dynamics. We're going to throw most spline into the mix here, and we're going to be creating this. Without further ado, Let's get started. Let's create our volume builder, our volume measure, and let's create a text spline. Let's just do some marketing as well. Change this to bold and break. And I can change this to Europa. Let's bring our text spline and make it a child of the builder. Make a builder a child of the measure. Let's change our voxel size to five. What that's doing is it's telling the voxel object there's this much distance in between geometry before we mesh it together. That basically gives you a cleaner mesh. The lower this number is, the more hard it is on your machine because there's a lot more calculation to do. I brought it down to two at times to one and it just starts to really chug. We have this spline, it's generating geometry. This is great. Increase the size and this will be a much cleaner mesh. Hold shift press c bring in our mole spline and make it a child of the volume builder select our mole spline object change the mode to spline then go into our spline tab drag our text spline or you could select it with the eyedropper to it there turn off our text spline because that geometry is still being generated and we don't want to confuse ourselves because now everything will be running through the mole spline object but referencing the text spline so we're going to turn that off and we want to change our width to about 10 centimeters and we want to change our generation mode to step basically saying to the mole spline object every 10 centimeters we're going to reference the object when you go into your object tab there are two modes there is complete and separate and you can see here what separate is doing is it's animating each segment object within this spline complete will animate it from start to end. I'm going to leave it on separate. It's really cool. You kind of have your system set up, which is fantastic. Now, uh, we want to make sure our geometry is displaying. Go to the display tab here. Make sure these shading lines are on. And this is important because we want to see how our geometry is interacting, especially if we're animating. Let's have a look at how some of the effectors work. We're not going to go deep into this. We're going to throw some on to show you how kind of agile the system is. This is something we'll explore in later videos. If we're to do formula. Cool. We can put this to 10. And what makes this different to just using normal geometry is it just feels a little bit more organic, like the geometry is moving. It's a bit more claymation, stop motion, which is great. If we were to you know, change the parameters here, same kind of effect. Let's take off the formula for now and just be aware when you're using the effectors, some of them may slow down your machine by quite a bit, but we're not going to go through this in depth. I just want to show you kind of how it works. In forces, dry our turbulence. Again, same applies with some forces. You're going to get like some wild results and it might slow down your machine. Let's drag our turbulence in here and change the mode to include. You can already see this is quite wild. Let's bring down the strength to one and the point frequency to two and bring up the scale to 100. And let's see what happens here. It's quite cool. Uh, and that's so, very, very strange. I'm sure there's a way to remap this um, and make it work a little bit better. These are areas we can explore later. Okay, cool. So we know the effectors and the forces work. Let's start looking at how to create welding effect here and uh, just scale it out a bit there start hitting the geometry just there and bring our cube into our volume builder this is important for this to work and for your geometry not to be too janky when it's animating you'll need to make a cube um, a child of the mold spline now we'll have a look at that in a minute and why that's important and um, what that is important to note let's keyframe our end parameter here bring this down to 100 and let's just create more keyframes in the timeline 300 here bring this up to 100 that's gonna be super slow and we can work with that for now let's see let's actually bring it down to 120 
You're getting lots of jaggedness and jitteriness around the edges. It might be cool for a certain style, but it just doesn't look great, especially in render. So if we make our cube a child of the most spine, we already get better looking geometry here. The jankiness isn't as bad. You're still getting some of it. So if you go into your volume builder, your cube, you drag the cube into the volume builder here. You then have this option that pops up here to use mesh points or to optimize and close holes. Put this density to two. This just optimizes your mesh and you will get less jitter. So that jitter isn't really happening, which is fantastic. And you're getting that welding effect. This is where you will be able to fix and optimize your geometry and meshing. This is why it's important to have a basic understanding of topology and to make sure it's displayed. Now, I've just seen a bit of jitter here. I think it was here. It kind of jumps. So maybe this is to do with our steps. That, let's see if that still jumps. And it's not jumping anymore. So sometimes there's a bunch of parameters you could change to fix one thing. Um, and that's just to be aware of the experiment here. And you're getting this nice welded on effect of fold and break. And that is looking quite slick. Okay, cool. That is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like, comment, all those things. Share with your friends if you think it's cool. That's great. If you don't, tell me why in the comments below. Haters are good for a channel. They create massive engagements, you know. Leave some nasty comments if you can't leave nice ones. I'm telling you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.